Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Kurt from Locals. Hi. Um, our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm going to start this week. Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yours are similar. Um, so on Tuesday I won. Um, it was Ben and I in the finals again. Uh, this I time lost. You did. Damn. Yeah. Um, I drew the blowout cards and Ben did not draw the crossout. So that was nice. For me. I feel like my game three hand was like abysmally shit though. Wasn't yeah. It? Yeah. Not my problem. <laughs> what happened became, today, Jake? Became my problem today. Um, so yeah, Ben and I in the finals. Admittedly, a smaller locals. Uh, two rounds. Fantastic. It is thirty degrees. I'm not expecting people to come into locals. It's more than it's, thirty degrees. It was thirty degrees when I was in the car. Let's see what it is now. Um, but yeah, smaller locals, uh, versus D-Link, uh, game two, I drew both of the Nibirus in opening hand, so everything was going to be fine. Uh, and then, yeah, Ben in the finals in game two, uh, he had, 34 uh, degrees at the moment. Ibley locked me, and played, uh, the Heavenly Prison Dude, uh, which already stops a lot of what I do. Uh, and then me drawing the three, uh, Garnets of the deck. Uh, also stopped me doing a lot of the things I wanted to do. Yeah, I kind so, of figured Jake was going to make me go first. So I was like, I'll put in the Lord. Even if I go second, I can reveal the Lord and hopefully it stops you. <laughs> yeah, look, was not good. Um, so yeah, Op- opening bad hands kind of sucks. Yes. But what can you do? Um, yeah, other than that, I uh, played very small amount of Master Duel. Um, I didn't actually get to uh, Master Rank this season. Oh, the season ended? Damn, if only I kept playing. I just started (laughs) playing. (laughs) We're just just not good enough, Kurt. Turns out you have to play the game to to do these things. Mm. Playing the game does allow you to play the game, yeah. Yes. Uh, But yeah, your weeks. Um, I guess you can start. So we went to Orange for the Orange Regional since Jake already covered off and how eventful my week in Yu-Gi-Oh was um, on, the other, on the other fronts. So, yeah, we went to we went to Orange. We went for the the good old trip four hours west for some all-you-can-eat Pizza Hut. Exactly. Yeah. All-you-can-eat Pizza Hut's pretty good, although my stomach was like... <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, still... Oh, this, this don't feel great. Oh. Um, I'm assuming it counts the dessert bar as well. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, I'll be so down for that. I'd have like... Maybe two to three garlic breads, a slice of meat lovers, and then I just go fucking ham on the dessert bar. That's <laughs> See, that's that would be my game plan. I ate a whole pizza, three garlic bread, and then went ham on the dessert bar. Like three whole garlic breads? No, they didn't do whole garlic breads. No, they did about a slice. About a slice. But there's usually about eight slices per garlic bread, right? Yeah. 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 I would have what twenty four slices of garlic bread, a couple slices of meat lovers, and then just copious amounts of ice cream and jelly why do you like garlic so, bread so much also an interesting thing <laughs> why don't you I garlic like garlic bread pub. I can't eat three of them so we were the <laughs> only people at the uh, at the all you can eat so it was like the group of us that went and then uh, low bridge and co um where was the story going oh uh, yeah so Maybe like the regionals they, <laughs> no 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 this is the reason we went to orange so might as well have been we get to the all you can eat they like bring out one of each pizza and then like we immediately eat the meat lovers it's gone straight away yeah. uh, we eat all the chicken and mushroom and then like it's supreme ham and pineapple and I think cheese pepperoni was there and there was a, pe- there was a pepperoni yeah. the pepperoni also disappeared yeah. like straight away yeah because those are the good pizzas well yeah. questionably the chicken and mushroom but yeah meat lovers is always the first to go but then they just didn't replenish those yeah because we were the only people there and they just didn't replenish them I'm sorry what they were like you fuckers can eat the rest of the pizzas I'm sorry no that is unacceptable also strangest thing they have a salad bar who the fuck they also serve pasta. The pasta I get. Yeah. The pasta I understand. Yeah. It's not amazing pasta. Yeah. Any time that I've ever had it at any pizza restaurant. Yes. Like, specifically pizza. Uh, but yeah, I kind of get that. But who the fuck is going there and eating any of the salad? Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> well, he plays D-League, so obviously he's special. That is... A waste of space. This is why they're not anywhere else. 
because they're trying to force these salad bars and lack of meat lovers they, on other consumers. They used to be everywhere else and they all closed down. That's what I mean. They're like, hey, we're not making any more pizza till you eat the shit supreme and this fucking rocket salad. All I know is I'm going back. Like, I'm going yeah. to that all you can eat every time I go to Orange now. I mean, I am now that more driven to go to Orange because I know that that's there. It was and if fantastic. it closes between now and when Next there's year. another opportunity to go, I'm going to burn something down. <laughs> Maybe we should just Google all the places that possibly have it. And Maybe just we should go just and open them. it. No, 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 no. No. I don't know where to get those, those marshmallows from. That's the thing. Those you, little marshmallows yeah, yeah, yeah. are my favourite. No, no, no. So here's the thing. When you opt in, you don't have to find them because you're they part of a franchise. They go, this is where you order them from. So, if nothing else, we run it for two months, it makes no money because everyone in fucking Illawarra sucks. And then, just before we like have to foreclose, we buy a fuck ton of marshmallows. And we just eat them. This works. Coming soon to a locals near you. Cowboy for Game business podcast, coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, Week so three of Pizza Hut. We're uh, out of Meat Lovers Pizzas, but we have all the marshmallows. Before... <laughs> Before we went to the thing that is all you can eat Pizza Hut, there was a regional involved. <laughs> there was Yu Gi Oh! We did we did play Yu Gi Oh out there. Um did not you? particularly well. Yeah. Like I was pretty pissed by like halfway through, but by the time I got to the end I was like, Yeah, I've I mean, done all I was, right. I was annoyed because you didn't tell me when you got home so we could drink away your sorrows. I didn't get home until like quarter past ten. I was awake till one thirty, Ben. I was waiting. Ah, it's fine. Is okay. Um so what did I do? Okay, so, yeah, I went X2 at the regional. Um, only mild complaints. Like, I lost my round two, and I shouldn't have lost. I just didn't think at, like, the moment it mattered most. Like, I was playing against Makanko, and uh, I, was, uh, I was just doing the good old-fashioned. I'm sitting on evenly matched for days. Every time he builds a board, I'm, like, evenly matched. Builds a board again, evenly matched. I'm like, okay, here we go. I'm just putting cards in my bin. And then at one point like two minutes left we're still equal on life and i'm like no sorry it was like five minutes left i had the opportunity where i could have gone for game i chose not to because i was like well you know if i push for game i might not like if he has nib it's probably gonna get awkward and i might lose the game for committing to the board he has hand traps i'm just gonna lose I, in reality it didn't i should have just pushed for game um but then I stupidly, when I go to end fa like past turn with like all my cards in hand, I'm like, no, I might need that small world later. This got a monster, despite the fact that I know he can reborn that monster and win. Oh, and I'm like, no. yep, uh, discard the monster. The moment I let go of the card, I'm immediately like, I've lost. I've lost on what I'm discarding for hand size. This is this is great. And then lo and behold, yep. Reborns it back, Kaiju's it, attacks, wins. I'm like, I, I just had to not do that, and we would have been Gucci. Um, you would have been fine just discarding the small world, right? I would have just discarded the small world, kept yeah. my game plan going. Keep the plan going. Yeah. Instead, I didn't. Um, okay. And it cost me. So, that was my round two. That was my first loss. My other loss was to Salad. Game one, freest win ever. Uh, game two, Bricked hard, game three bricked hard, and then in game three he had fucking like the absurd, uh, like yeah, like Ash Imperm, Cyanet Mining, Salamine Great Circle, Flame Buffalo, and then top deck Weasel. <laughs> and I was like, oh cool, I've just lost. And this one of these map. Um, so that was my two losses. Uh, outside of that, like, thought it was chill. Like, once I had kind of gotten to terms with like, I fuck this. I. I didn't play terribly for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, ended up X2. I think I played six different decks in each round. So, like, it was a very diverse room. Like, the highest represented deck was, like, six. Of yeah, Unchained. it was six Unchained, yeah. Six Unchained, six Rescue Ace. And then it was open season for the rest. People are slowly catching on to the fact that Rescue Ace is, like, probably better it, than Unchained. There was a lot of good players in the room playing Rescue Ace. So yeah, hmm. good deck. Um, yeah, the only well, I, I basically stopped bricking at that point, and then just ran through the rest of my matchups. 
Um, Impulse, really, really good against Pearly. Like I always scream. It's always good against Pearly. Um, I played against... It turns out you have a fairly decent Rika matchup. Because you can just like uh, dance around. Your stuff and, is like, yeah, back row driven anyway. Yeah, like the Xyz that tributes doesn't tribute for cost. So it's a monster yeah, effect to tribute. So if your stuff's immune to monster effects, do you yeah. just win? <laughs> yeah, and also doesn't it... Does it target to tribute? Does it target monster and then tribute? I think so. Yeah. But it literally didn't matter. So I was just like, just get rid of the thing. Game. I mean, in theory, like with the field spell, they could have tributed to your stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. But you oh, just, the, he'd you... already done that on like the other time. Oh, but like, okay. it did, so he tributed the preventer, trigger preventer, something back and vanished. And I was like, because I like, intentionally only gave him the option to tribute the preventer. So I was like, preventer swing he's like yeah tribute preventer prevent a trigger engrave summon I'm like cool um yeah my day was fine apart from like when i lost i was pretty salty but like i was gonna that, say you say your day was fine but you were like having a mad fucking whinge in the chat well, that's fine i went for a walk <laughs> got his car brought it <laughs> yeah literally like walked <laughs> back to the hotel got the car drove the car to the locals because it was like timed parking before 12 so like just went out and got that, came back. And then was like, eh. <laughs> Won my next, like, two rounds and was like, ah, oh, sure. We'll we'll take it. Um, yeah, that was my trip. Good. Uh, I still have not figured out a deck that I like. Uh, I went with Runic for Hire. And the deck just dies to an Ash. Or a Nib after you've summoned all your Fur Hires. So, round one, I versed Leo. Do you not gigantic Sprite into that? Well, no, because then you can't summon the... I can't summon any uh, of the other three oh, for highs. Oh, okay. Because that happened today when we played, where I was yeah. sitting on the nib and I was like, I'm assuming you're trying to do something else, which is why you're not activating this gigantic sprite here. Yeah. Um, so, round one of us, Leo. So, that's just... Uh, you played the, someone that knows the matchup. Yeah. Played someone who's pretty much helped me build the deck as well. So, he just knew everything. And I pretty much only drew sprites. None of the ver none of her higher or runic, so round one yum, went yum, to yum. him. So round two I then versed Sword Soul, which is kinda a shot in the heart. Did you lose to the Sword Soul? I lost to the Sword Soul. Ah. Just because he opened nuts. Yeah. Nib Ash game one. Nib Ash game two. One card combo, well, one card with their the one and a reveal, half yeah. yeah. Both games OTK. I'm like, yeah, cool, done. Then I just started versing random shit. That happens at regionals. And I'm like, I versed Unchained Banish Mech Knights, round three. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dude was just like, let's try and send all my stuff to Banished. And play random mech knights in my deck with Unchained. I'm like, this doesn't work. I'm just going to nitpick at everything and just eventually win. This was a dude who came in with no side and 11 in his extra deck. Yeah. Yeah, he's literally just grabbed like his bulk and been like, oh, Yeah, no. exactly. So, and how was he end up with Unchained and mech knights? Then? I don't know. I mean, if I picked up my bulk, that's probably what I did. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Maybe some Orcus cards or appliances <laughs> splashed in there for funsies. <laughs> maybe you just paired J. Yeah, maybe. I am a clone after all. Yeah. Um, so, so, did you check his belly button? No, I didn't. It should have been intact. I didn't really want to. <laughs> so, round three was it. easy. Round four versus zombies, which just get rid of their normal summon, don't do anything. So that was easy. Round five. Sorry, just before you move on to round yeah. five. I find it really funny that there's like two deck themes, loosely, that always get looped in together, even though they can be vastly different. And that's zombies and waters. They never explain exactly what zombies are doing. Granted, most of the time zombies are doing the same thing. Like, it's all just like the same shit, pretty much. But then any water deck, no matter how diverse it could be, unless it's Marincess, just gets called water. Okay. True. Zombie World Chop. sucks. Like My fur higher. Oh yeah, because you need I need different types to summon the links. I'm like, eh, how do I get rid of Zombie World? 
So I, I did that. Round five of us Dynamorphia, and that deck can die. I don't want that. Yeah, that deck's annoying as fuck. The person and who was piloting. The person who was piloting yeah. was very annoying. It was like a young guy. It was just like I pl- I sat next to him during one round, and he was just throwing everything at the board and not giving his opponent time to read shit. And I was just like throwing shit at the board. I had you know my ho as a card center. Yeah. He decided to read that halfway through my turn. <laughs> He then looked at my dice and said, what number's that? It was one, so it was like one like that. I guess he just knows one like a straight line. He was confused. I'm like, okay. He just starts putting these traps down. I'm like, yeah, okay. What an honestly, interesting person. Honestly, I should have lost to him. Just because I didn't read his cards. And he scooped game two and game three where I didn't even know what to do. Yeah, so he beat Sounds game one with 25 much life points. <laughs> 25 <laughs> life points. Yeah. Why don't you just play Firecracker? Oh, I don't know. Then round six, I versed the Rescue Ace player, our Storm Man. Yeah, he versed Andrew. And uh, we, honestly, it was just, we were figuring out if Leo won, he would give me the win. If Leo lost, I'd give him the win. Be- just That's in case. Interesting thing to say on the podcast. That's nah, true. it's fine. But yeah. We're coming for you, Jerome. Yeah, we're coming. <laughs> I was literally just about to say, we haven't called out Jerome yet. <laughs> <laughs> then we had the all-you-can-eat all pizza. Yeah. That was the best part of the day. All-you-can-eat pizza hut was fantastic. Ice cream was a bit fucking cold. Yeah, the ice cream... So it was... <laughs> no, no, so it no, was, no, 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 Yeah. It was freezing. It was like... So it was one of the, the ice cream machines where you pour it, except it was like, it came out at like sub-zero temperatures. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, they rely on the use of the machine to keep it at its standard temperature. And if they had no one else in there, yep. which clearly they didn't because no one made a motherfucking meat lovers pizza, then it's not going to work properly. But just the out-of-pocket statement of, the ice cream was really cold. <laughs> like, it was, it was absurdly cold. Jono had some... And he couldn't eat it. Yeah. He, like, took a scoop and then, like, walked away and was like... <laughs> it was... It was really Well, see, the play there is, like, you get all your stuff, your marshmallows and stuff, and then you just do, like, the seven-year-old thing of just make, like, ice cream soup. Just whip it until it's... No, no, it was, like, so cold and dense that it just didn't melt. Yeah. No, he went not try that enough. I, so... I, I had to... The brownies were the only way I could eat it. Yeah, the, the brownie. I, oh, I went back for more brownies and threw them back in on top of my ice cream. It was just making it so uh, that it was not as, like, frozen. Yeah. That was just, that was the only like, way I could eat it. I knew it was cold when, like... I, so I was the first person to get dessert. I sat down with my bowl, put my spoon in, and, like, I can normally just fucking eat ice cream like it's nothing. And, like, it touched my teeth and I was like, oh, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, the more I hear about this, the more I just want to like organize a weekend trip to Orange just to have all I can eat pizza. Is I'm there one closer? Surely there's one closer. N- no. Nah, nah, so the last one I went to was in like Sydney, like ten years ago, and it, well, I, it closed oh, down. 10, like 10 I know for a fact, it closed down. I do remember going to one somewhere again in like the outer bits of Sydney a while one, back. Pitt Street Mall one was the last one that I had been to. Let's get rid of the vet that took over the one in Ribula and get it started up again. Because the building's still in the same, same like, iconic shape. No, no, it, that, that, it wasn't that one. It was that one? No. It was? No, where KFC is at Warren. That was one as well. Oh, there was two? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Debate me on that. How dare you. Anyway. I'm um, saying I know for a fact it was precisely where the KFC was. Yeah, there was two. There was a putt 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 behind that too. Sorry, we're taking a trip down memory. Yeah, yeah, so good. Did you ever play putt putt there? Uh, no. Oh, Sag. Anyway, moving on to news. So we start. We're with... looking. We're looking for an all you can eat pizza hut. Yeah, if, you, you if guys you, do that. If you have an all you can eat pizza hut near you, put it in the Discord. We're coming. I would legitimately like. If it has to be orange, it'll be orange. But it's... I really want to go. Apparently, there's four. There's one in Waterloo, Orange, Minto, and Wins. Windsor. Minto's Waterloo, close, isn't it? I don't think Waterloo's that far away. Yeah, I, I kind of want to do this. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, starting with news on Master Duel, uh, we have an update to the ban list that's coming into effect as of October 10th. Uh, it could be the Sydney one. I don't know. 
That's all right. They're close. They're close. They're closer yeah. than four hours. It's fine. Yes. Everything's fine. <laughs> all right. So, uh, coming into effect as of uh, October 10th, uh, we have two bands, which will be Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard, and Diabolosis, the Mind Hacker. Team so, we're getting the rest doing of anything. Team. Yo, Waterloo's like Do in South City. Yeah. Waterloo, Waterloo's in South City. Oh, oh. we're putting it in the chat. It's like an hour 20 away. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm so down for that. Um, <laughs> limited, we have Nibble Beaver and Terrell Manhattanus. T wasn't doing anything. No, and they really don't want it to do anything either. <laughs> um, and then released from the list, we have Adam Antipater Analyzer, mm -hmm. Lust of Pendulum the Draco Slayer, yep. and Bamboos and Gossip Shadow. I forgot that was banned. It makes sense because like it was banned for the sake of Ronga Miniad, but they didn't ban Ronga Miniad. But now the Ronga Miniad is banned, they yeah. can probably come back. Yeah, I don't like the idea of like uh, Virtual World having like a small renaissance and coming back. Not because it's good, just because it's annoying. Guys, I want to go this weekend. Oh wait, the the one at the one at uh the one at Minto is actually closer. Put it in the chat. Get a start. I would legitimately, I would legitimately go tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I have already eaten it this week. And tomorrow's next week. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's <a good> point. <laughs> this podcast has devolved. It really has. Um, but also, Master Duel, we have a new solo mode, uh, the Warriors of Yore, which is the next iteration of the Six Samurai Law. Uh, goes on to talk about the next generation of Six Samurai. Still not the most amazing this, generation. This but is the photos of the one at, uh, at Waterloo. What, these are the photos they put up for their own marketing? No, these are just some fucking people's Google reviews. This person said it was great. Perfect. All I need to hear. They were like, the toilet was clean, and I was like, that's all you want from an all you can eat? <laughs> Look at the I mean, marshmallows. They've all. got marshmallows here. Oh, the tiny marshmallows. Actually, again, um, side point. When I was working at Macca's, they had, like, a bubblegum McFlurry for a little while. And they had, like, these, like, not solid, but, like, less squishy tiny marshmallows. They were fucking amazing. Like, to a point where the staff and the customers had ordered so many that all of New South Wales was out. And they had to go to just the standard small squishy marshmallows. Yep. And then, like, sales dropped by, like, half. <laughs> no one I'm gonna, wanted I'm gonna put that away otherwise I'm gonna sit here like it's alright we know exactly what we're doing the second this podcast is finished uh, so in the solo mode for Six Samurai you get uh, the Grandmaster Sheehan I think his name is uh, you get sleeves and an icon of him um, and 200 gems as per norm uh, it's very easy from what I've seen um, it's hard to fuck up to be honest like yeah, six samurai. Just, six yeah samurai. but it's like super early six samurai too so as long as you get like something big enough on the board you're generally fine yeah just get your sheen out and you're... pretty much pretty much so that works yeah um other than that what else is going on muscle i think currently in terms of tier it's between dragon link and pearly for best deck nah and tier hmm? and tier well currently no currently yes then we have two fusions per no, turn. It'd be pearly. Oh wait, is Arasad is it... out yet? No. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Gans judging Gans off the band list, I imagine it comes in. What day is today? Yeah, October ten. Ten days away. Nine days away. Nine days away. I mean, by the time they're listening to this, yeah, nine days away. Eight days away. Anyway, um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens once we get the new stuff, assuming that we get all the stuff, because I can imagine them just leaving one random cut out just for I this. Dispater might come, huh? Yeah, Dispater could come. But I feel when they do the branded packs, they tend to have them, like, just launching all together kind of thing. Gee, so they'll do, like, one. Quem, the new trap, uh, the new fusion, Bistool, the new trap that goes with the new bark. fusion. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff they could do in that. Oh, and Lulu Walilith as well. Go Ace! Du, 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 yeah, that'll du, come at some du, point, too. So I imagine... Rescue Ace is coming. Yeah, the, yeah everything's coming. Yeah. It's just depending on when. I thought it was coming in with the cash. We'll probably get it at the same time. Yeah. It, it, given that we skipped Rescue Ace, probably. Yeah. Yeah. But it's yeah, not it's, all of it. It could be all of it. Hopefully it's all of it. I yeah, the deck's kind of trash without, like, all the new shit. I saw, like, five cards get announced. I, I didn't Try even, damage, you I, better not be holding back on shit leaks I for me. I don't even think Turbulence was there. 
to nah, make this hundred percent there. No, it you're has wrong. to be there. You're actually wrong. Um, if it's but, not there, then it's no point releasing it. I know. That's what. Yeah, like the deck has no game plan outside of turbulence. Like, yeah. I'll just hard open the traps. No. And we'll terrible. give you preventer so you can juggle book of moons. <laughs> book some back. Book some back. Book some back. Uh, so, currently we have uh, YCS Dortmund running. Uh, so, we have a deck Dort- breakdown from uh, day one. Yeah, Monarchs, go with him. Yeah, it's still. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to me beating you with. I was real there. I went to say Monarchs. Mon- and my brain was like, how do I pronounce Monarchs Mon- in his. You got so deep in the sauce you drowned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, how would you say it? Holy fuck. So, deck breakdown of day one. We have 11% unchained. For some reason, they've just whacked the word soul on the end of it. I feel like you don't need to do that. You can just say unchained. Uh, unchained soul. With no one, without the soul, it's just a shit deck. It is a shit deck. I honestly don't know how it's doing as well as it is. I was fully intent on the fact that I... Like, again, I think I've like tried to say this for several weeks and been cut off every time. Shut the fuck up. I already see... Your eyes ticking, trying to cut me off. You too. I saw the wink. I see you. (laughs) (laughs) I've successfully cut him off. I haven't haven't started yet. I haven't started yet. You've not cut shit. So, when this support was announced, there was at no point me in a position thinking that this would be T1. And now we have it in a position where, like, it's getting heavily cited for. I fully anticipated that I would play this deck for a couple of weeks. It'd be just as shit as it was before the support. And then I'll go back to, like, playing Branded or some shit. So, it's a really weird position to be in. Well, was not what I was anticipating. It does a lot. It doesn't, though. Okay. You have your Xyz that... It's not once per turn, right? Correct. Then you have the blue dude, Rage of Soul, right? Yeah. That's what his name is. He links off whatever we summon. Special summon. Special summon. Yeah. And then you just go into Unicorn and you shuffle back our other one. So that is one, two, three... Taken away one for and the trap gives you double pot five five interruption for two cards. You know how easy that is to out though. Yes, I know it's easy to out by just impermanent sign. Normal Don't... summon impulse. I knew he was gonna say fucking it's impulse. Fucking I just couldn't remember what it was. It's fucking rescue called. ace. Normal summon impulse off a handshake. <laughs> but still, it's got a lot of interruptions for two cards. Yeah, yeah. And again, I didn't see it coming. It was not what I was anticipating to have to play into this format. <laughs> Play into? Play. <laughs> well, no, because people are getting heavily sided cards. Like, at every interval when I was versing people at the regionals last week, it's like, got past game one whether I win or lose, and they're just like, okay, let's side in these eight to nine cards I have sided pretty much exclusively for this matchup. I don't do that. Because you have an in archetype out. It's not that good. I mean, a minute ago you were literally talking it up as if, like, you summon it, you win the game. It's quite only close to that. <laughs> I have to have other cards in my hand to do something. Anyway, back to the deck breakdown. So, after Unchained, we have 10% Pearly. Yep. 9% Tier Element. Yep. Two best deck. Well, I mean, if you're going purely off numbers, it's the third best deck. Anyway, uh, That's only because 7%... people haven't caught on. I mean, they clearly have, because I dare say yeah. the number was a lot lower than 9% prior to Arise. <laughs> Lots of people have caught on, Kurt. Uh, 7% Flunderies. In fact, about 250 people have caught on. Yeah. <laughs> Round about. Uh, 6% Labyrinth. Uh, 5% Branded. And then a whopping 52% other. No That's... D-Link. No Rescue Honestly, it's pretty lazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you've only gotten to 5%. Like, you're just like... Surely there's a couple eh. of 4% there that you can throw in. Yeah, like, I imagine... If the numbers get released, if someone else is doing the numbers, it'd probably be more detailed. But this is also day one of, what, 2,600 players? Yes. They just didn't want to. Yeah. Because, like, I imagine after it gets to, like, 4%, there's probably, like, a huge number in 4%. So yeah. they're just like, we have to try and fit this on a, a Twitch stream. We're not doing three pages of this. <laughs> uh, do the three pages. Do the pie chart. Sprite. Rescue Ace. Uh, Burp. D-Link. Flunder, it was Flunder there? Whoa. Flunder's 7%. 7%. 7%? Uh, it is a lot of Flunder, and I feel like it's purely because they're just like, I don't want to have to deal with Unchained. Exactly, I don't want to read that's them. exactly why, and also Tear. 
they've, they've thought about, okay, a right side's gone. We can but play Shifter. The, but this is the thing. Outside of Shifter, T didn't have a huge problem with Flunderies after the statue got banned. Yeah. So unless they're subbing in the statue for some el, some other guard. They use the other statue. They, I mean, once the searcher for it comes out, I dare say they will. Don't even need the searcher. They, can, they can summon the fire one just yeah. through combo. Yeah, but they have to open it. Nah, you can get it. Small it. Yeah. Again, you're searching it. You play, there's, you play Frost, you play Small World. Frosty, Duality. Again, four, like, like, once Maze like, of Memory comes out, you just search it. Oh, that's fine. Maze of Memory is like six months away. People... Maze of Memory is already down. Oh, the other one. Maze of something. Maze of Millennium. Mystery. Millennium. Yes. Is it Maze of Mystery? I don't know. I don't know. It's a stupid, <laughs> it's stupid. It's a stupid <laughs> set name. This, the first one made sense because there was Labyrinth cards in it, so it's like yeah. linked to a maze. Now it's just like, oh, we're too lazy to write it. We're just going to cross yeah. out this first word and write a different one that starts with M for the sake of alliteration. <laughs> Fuck you, Jerome. Um, yeah, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> this is your fault. So, uh, moving on. We have uh, the next couple of cards announced for the Phantom Nightmare set. Uh, neither of them are particularly good. Neither um, of them are the new Klee card. Well, no, that's going to be dual terminal. Oh. But yeah, it is a point that like they've only announced really? two of the archetypes that are supposed to be getting support. Well, Unless they are the only two archetypes getting support in this, and they're going to, like, because like I said, there's they've clearly numbered the set, so they might do later releases. Where the Klee at? Not here. Uh, but this one is called Magmacho Dragon. Uh, level 8 Pyro Effect Monster. Um, Searchable. Banish up to three fires from your graveyard. It gains 400 attack uh, oh for each until oh. the end of the turn. Uh, it starts with 1800 attack. So oh. it's not great. Oh, God. Uh, but its second effect, if a face-up fire monster or monsters you control is destroyed by card effect while this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon it, but banish it when oh. it leaves the field. Oh, God, it's so then, shit. Then draw one card. Oh, God, it's somehow not that much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. But they've done a lot of these high-level sort of summony things when certain attributes Wait, get destroyed. Wait, it's bigger than level 4? It's level 8. That's shit. It is kind of garbage. Like, if there. you could normal summon it, cool. But no, you can't. No. You need to somehow get it to the grave and then hope that some, some stuff dies. I mean, it could come up in Viking. Is it destroyed by opponent's card? Or? Yep, just destroyed by card effect. Sure. Does it at least have 200 defense? Fun. Uh, 2200 defense. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Um, I'll double check. Yeah, just to try about card effects. So it can summon itself off of Vikings effects. So that's a thing, I guess. Um, next card sure, announced sure, sure. for Phantom Nightmare. I'm going to go through a three card combo to draw one card. Mm. Uh, is it Phantasmal Summoning Beast? Uh, so this one's a level 7 Dark Fiend. Uh, tribute this card, add one of the shit god cards. Uh, Raviol and all that shit. This card's actually From kind of deck or graveyard to your hand, then special summon a level 10 Pyro, Thunder, or Fiend monster whose attack and defense you equal summon itself. You summon one you add. Add. Yeah. yeah, ignoring summoning conditions, but it cannot attack this turn. Uh, and then banish it from grave, add a Dimension Fusion Destruction from your deck to your hand. I had to double check this. This was released in the structure deck for them um, and let you uh, uh, banish yeah. stuff from grave to do the fusion. Okay. It, it's kind sure. it's neat, but the, 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 it is neat. The, yeah. the, the deck's just not. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> fucking <laughs> awful. Yeah. I have yeah. seen Huh? Continue. <laughs> uh and then the last little bit of news, because I refuse to read about Duel Links news, uh, is the quarter century duelist box announced for the OCG. Uh so this is coming out for them on the twenty third of December. Oh weird. A little bit. Is this the thing that had the sprite stuff in it? So, no, four cards per pack. Uh, nine... Oh, hang on. Nine quarter century doors box special packs. Four cards per pack. 60 different cards. Yep. Um, so, it's going to have some new cards in it, as well as cards that are highly versatile that symbolise the Yu-Gi-Oh! official card game. So, They're when that statement... that king card in there. Oh, I'm the king. Oh, everyone's king? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, did you see the giant card for... Yeah. The Dortmund? giant card for Was Dortmund? Was it Everyone's King? It's that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sucked in, Dortmund. It's Crimson Dragon, and then and the back. Jack Atlas King, and then they have Revolution Synchron as, as the, the mini the, card. As the oh, mini the mini. Oh, yeah. the mini. The mini would be worth more, surely. 
little, little baby dragon. There's a baby giant card. <laughs> it was so bad. Was that baby. is fairly pathetic. Because I don't think they've done any giant cards for Duelist Nexus, right? Other than it's Tiny cr- Revolution cr- Dragon. And Crimson Dragon. Dragon. Oh, Crimson Dragon. Sorry, I was thinking the Jack Atlas, red like, um, one that cheats out Red Dragon Arch. No, 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 this guy. Yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Which one are you pointing at? Uh, the one in the middle. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> big one. It's not helpful because he's grabbed this poster from only the bottom and tried to demonstrate <laughs> well, it. That's Crimson Dragon. Yeah. That's not Crimson Dragon. Is it not? No. no oh, that's no, Crimson that's Dragon. Fucking... Okay. See, see. Yeah, it's the one in the middle. The little white one. Uh, anyway, back to this. Uh, so, <laughs> if, like, what cards come to mind, except for everyone's king, uh, when they say uh, highly versatile cards that symbolise the Yu-Gi-Oh! official trading card game? yu gi oh friendship! <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I could see them doing those cards, like Pharaoh's Judgment as well. Unity. All the greatest jump cards ever printed. Yeah, I don't have high hopes for this. Oh, hang on, is it? Wait. Oh, there's multiple products for this. Or yeah. multiple things in the box. So there, yeah, that's... You get, you so you get shit. one of those packs. You get a quarter century token pack. Yep. Um, token? Yep. Oh, that's a... Those so tokens. each Probably pack comes definitely. with four cards from a 30-card super rare pool. Yes. So there's up to 30 tokens that they're printing in this. Watch none of them be the ones that anyone wants. <laughs> there'll be there'll be tokens of here's an Elvish token. tokens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, this your special versions with token. the twenty fifth anniversary for the Yu Gi Oh card game. One card per pack will be a secret rare. Um, all cards also come in secret rare. Uh, a special duelist magnet card holder. So that's one of those clippy special things. Uh, a special storage box. Bracket paper. Uh, designed exclusively to promote this product that has a design befitting the 25th anniversary of the Yu-Gi-Oh card games. Uh, and then a special Duelist card case. Plastic. Holds up to 90 cards. It's a box. It's a deck box. It's a deck box. <laughs> it's a deck box. Uh, again, with the 25th uh, anniversary design. No, you can't get every card in one box. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to buy six whole boxes. And all details are subject to change. So yeah, we won't be getting anything like that. Mm. And I'm fine with that. I don't know, I have an issue with this all. I mean, the tokens are a nice idea, but again, you'd need to print the tokens that people want. Just use the to Japanese just... tokens. Yeah. But anyway, moving on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. I'm my elbow. <laughs> uh, so, our first question this week it'd help if i got to the question tab and not the other question the other thing uh our first question this week is from oracle uh was there ever a deck you regretted building in master duel and why no well you've only built three decks and <laughs> well the problem is surprisingly that... accurate no i think i have like 18 different decks built Come on, over the time it's been out yeah i regret nothing I built three quarters of every deck and then realized I can't make it fully. And then just to Why can't you make it fully? Because you don't have like the URs and stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's because you keep spending 30 to know, craft know, a card and then <laughs> getting only 10 back for the ones you did craft. I know. Also, so if you just. I play regret it, making so every here's deck. The thing. You, just, <laughs> you need to play it more consistently to get more tokens to then be able to build the decks you want. I think the one deck that I fully just, built. The other thing you can do is just. Hammer the solo modes. Each one of them, other than like maybe two or three, gives you 200 gems for finishing. That's not enough gems for me to want to do that. <laughs> exactly. Again, you only play two to three decks, and even then, they're not consecutively. And that's okay. The answer is no, Jake. Well, the answer for you is no. For me, it is adding this stuff. Oh, why, why is that? Aww. So, at the time that I built it, I was trying... Like, I basically equated it to the same as in the TCG. I'm like, oh, if I just summon towers most of the time, I'll be fine. But I didn't account for the fact that you versed the most random shit on Master Duel almost constantly. Like, there's very few matchup. Like, only until you get into, like, maybe the Master, or, like, just below Master, where people are trying to get to Master Duel, you verse, like, almost guaranteed meta decks. So, uh, I think in my 
first three or four outings with Ignista. Like there was people running Ghost Bell, there were people running Kaijus. Like the game plan wasn't the same. No, just execute the game plan. Just make the towers pass. It wasn't good enough. I still have it all, so if I wanted to go back to it, I could. But yeah, make the towers and catapult portal and fire the opponent for the FTK. Doesn't it do it for original attack? Also, the attack's not that high, and it only does half. Yeah, there's a lot of flaws in the game plan, <laughs> but it's still a game plan. Oh Jesus! Um, do I regret building anything else? I don't think so. I got like halfway to building agents, and then half got banned on Master Duel, and I was like, oh. I played Master Duel if they released a pack that had like just hand traps. They have. It's building. called the Master Pack. It's well, that, that, that comes uh, with everything uh, else. Uh, uh, More often than not, you open hand traps as well. That's how I got my Royal Rare Diddy Crow. But, like, the issue with me and Master Duel is that I don't have those hand traps. Like, Max C's, I have not been bothered to make. Bruh. Yeah. yeah that card is one. beyond essentially there. I know, I know. You that's my problem. It. That's my problem. If I do, if I make them, that's 90 Ultra Rare. Yes. Yeah. I don't have that just sitting there. It's because you keep decrafting like a moron. Yes. <laughs> Let's yeah. change, and I still don't the know what Max to play. Max C, unless... No, even if you are playing Flundering, you still play Max C, which infuriates the fuck out of me. I hate, like, opening Max C against Flunder, and then, like, at the fucking draw phase, they drop Max C on me. I'm like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I want to play Max C. Anyway, yeah, you just need to be wiser with what you're spending your things on. Again. Like, yeah, if, you, if you were to take any route, it would be the Ben route of just build one deck and then never change. Do that. Do it. <laughs> Next question, Jake. Next question comes to us from, I believe, a new listener, Chief. Hi, Chief. Uh, hey, how are you doing Chief. today? <laughs> what deck has a special place in your heart, but you wish was more competitive by today's standards? For oh. example, his deck is Toons. Needs a bit more of a push to be better. So you're not doing good today by the sound of that question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what you want to do is play Toons. But only play against Sky Striker players because it's a free win. <laughs> um, what take the way I wish was better? You know, my answer is probably Tunes. <laughs> yeah, true. You do have a little affinity for Tunes as yeah. well, don't you? I did at one point. I got over it though. I just have it all there. Like when Sky Striker was good, I played that deck a lot because it was just like you paired it, you just won. <laughs> um. I don't, I don't, I don't really get that super attached to old decks. Like, I guess now I'm like, fuck, I r would really like an alternative to Ronan Toten for my frogs. But, yeah, I don't get attached to decks. They touched my toad! <laughs> <laughs> Stupidest hit on a ban list. Nah, that's great. It's fucking the alternative was ban toad. Sprite. No, it's new sprite. No, literally just eliminate the deck from existence. And I like sprite. But fucking kill it if it means that I can play my frogs again. <laughs> wonder if it'll ever happen. Because, like, realistically, they only want to hit Sprite if it's doing well. And right now it's just it's kind of it's okay. Well. So, in theory, Ronan Toten's never coming back. Yep. And that's disappointing. It's funny as fuck. My favourite deck gets hit for something. Oh, that fucking stupid shit. Well, there's, the way that Sprite comes insane is if another level 2 archetype comes up. That's like just annoying. I feel like they're not going to walk into that anytime soon. It'll it's be like... gigantic Sprite. Ice Sheets. What? The new Ice Sheets. There's, there's, level, they don't there's need... level 2s in there. There's a new no. level 2. That no. summons 2 tokens. No? Yeah. No. Yeah. A, it's a level 3. B, it summons a token that's level 7. C, it's Ice Sheets. It's a level 2. It fucking isn't. The new Ice Jade Woman that's coming. We don't have a new Ice Jade Woman Is that's coming. Is it Ice coming. Jade? No. It's Mirror Jade. It's, not it's mirror. Ice Barrier. Ice Barrier. That's what I'm talking about. Also, it's really hard for them to do that if they want to summon Wait. a level 10 Synchro. I, I'll yeah. be real. 
I thought he was talking about Ice Barrier. No. I was on the same page. I was like, yeah. It's Ice Shit. I mean, Ice Barrier will be using the Ice Jade level 3 that I mentioned because it's just a free summon for their yeah, level yeah, 10 yeah, synchro. Yeah, but I'm just saying. That... But yes, they are in fact different. Mm, yeah, yes. level 2. You don't have to use that effect until you've done your level 2s. Not gonna lie. Summon this, Gigantic. This deck crafting idea of yours sounds fucking awful. And then awful. do the Synchro play, then you activate Gigantic. Sounds awful. No, this is no, probably, no, no. Already this is probably no, no. why you keep walking it's... into Nibiru, because no. you're like, I'm gonna summon my Gigantic Sprite, <laughs> and fuck away. around for a little while, and then lock my opponent out. <laughs> Hear me out, Jake. It's actually a pretty cute play. Because your opponent has two things that they have to impump. If they're holding the impump for Gigantic Sprite, you start doing your other shit, and they're like, Oh, I need to impump that. They impump that, and then you ibly lock them. It's great. Exactly. Mm. So elevated music gets us out of this conversation. What Kurt, what deck did you want support for? What whole deck do you like? I want more black wing support. You just got black wing support. That deck could not have more I support. I want more. I it just want a thing. support for no fucking reason. I want a thing that stops us from just dying to one interrupt. I want a Synchro it's that's a Kalut and adds all three Kalut. <laughs> it's... Give us a negate. It doesn't have a negate. Yeah, it just has the ability to be completely unaffected. But still, like, you could get over the unaffected. It's only 3k. You can what search you think... all the Phantom Knight cards during that combo, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what do you think gets a negate first, if they were ever to do one, which I hardly doubt? Black Wings or Heroes? Blackwing. So, I'd like to again point out no, that Blackwing hero. has a counter trap negate. Can it activate on their turn? No. Yes. If you control a Blackwing Synchro, it can activate. Actually? What are you talking about? Yeah. Black Whirlwind? Oh, no, that's no, not Black Whirlwind. Um, it's not Blackout. It's the ship guy. I think it's if you control Blackwing Dragon, it can just activate from hand. There's too many cards with the word black in it. I'm going to move on. Um, so yeah, you want a negate for know. black wings, which will never happen. Ben! I already said. Did you? Yeah, oh yeah, you want something to replace Ronin. I'll, I'll also take some toon support. And toons. That's right. Um, of the decks that I have played, I think in terms of ones that are like close to my heart that I then want support for, it's never going to happen. And like... The amount that I want support for it is actually quite small, but I would I like think it's black appliances close. to get something else. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Are you just making up support? It says when a monster yeah, probably. activates its effects. Hear me out. Do that anyway. <laughs> you have Blackbird close, that's good enough. Here's the other thing too. Like, you could easily play that deck in Master Duel and just clap. Yeah, I know. It's like the one deck I probably... Because you can buy structure decks, right? Yes. Yeah. I you should probably everything you need. that. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because that level 2 that just like is a random pop from Graveyard while you control the Synchros there, you just summon two of the Bernie Dragons, most decks will stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I don't like about the deck, though. It's just... I mean, it's the same for branded, right? Like, you can do all kinds of bonkers shit in branded, but most people will just go, Ha! Three million screw, dragons! Screw, screw, screw. <laughs> what was your answer, sir? Uh, my answer was appliances. Ah. Oh, I don't... The way I based on this conversation, when I came back to it, I was like, there's no fucking way Jake said branded. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I would like a branded fusion that can't be ash. Um, <laughs> I would like a monster that Crossover. activates from hand if... Uh, brand of fusion doesn't resolve then you get two fusion summons you get fusion summon from deck and then fusion summon from grave I like, and then I like fusion a summon from banished Albaz that uh, copies the effect of brand of fusion from grave and summons itself for free that's all just little things um, Jesse also put mech boys I was thinking about that and I honestly don't know what else you could give them other than just another random monster like you could do the new spiral support card route of just like if you control a mech knight of some sort, summon it to your opponent's board. Why don't you play that in mech knight? Because you have to control spiral. And? What are you going to do? Use your normal summon? Yeah. Gisu is a much better normal summon than any spiral shit. Normal summon tough. Pop your opponent's shit. If I'm going first, what am I going to pop? The monster you've just given them. 
I don't want to pop that. I want to keep it on the board. It's fine. You do your whole combo, then you pop it. No. Oh. Keep it on the board. Okay. Anyway, quick fix. Add a big red. Automatic link two. <laughs> Garbage. Uh, uh, try to chuck a big red card. Next six question. by six. Uh, two questions. Uh, two. What makes you lose interest in a deck you are playing? Applies to TCG, Master Duel, or Rush Duels. It doesn't apply to Rush Duels. Jake, is the answer for you that deck gets good? No. No? No. I didn't stop playing Tyrell when it got good. That's true. Oh, the answer... Also didn't stop playing Unchained when it got good. Yeah, but it, was it just an unex... got good like um, two months ago. Well, at the point of release? Yeah, so the Jake timeline normally goes, eh, eh, eh. Tyrell and it went, ah, eh, eh, and then you just couldn't play it anymore. Um, what is your answer? Uh, my answer is, uh, uh, what makes you? Um, like, sometimes it just gets stale. Like, especially decks that are very linear and just kind of do the same shit a lot. It just becomes like, I'm actually sick of vomiting out the same board every turn. I wish to try something different. Uh, it was definitely the case with adding Nista. That deck was doing fine. You and summon then, the towers. Yeah. Uh, but it got very boring. My, it, was, it was very monotonous and no one was siding for it. So <laughs> My answer is similar. But what really, I just normally get bored. Like, I have to like genuinely enjoy... I have to like genuinely enjoy the playstyle and like the cards themselves to want to continue playing your deck constantly. Like I really enjoy Rescue Ace, so that's why I'm continually playing that. But like, what else did I enjoy? I enjoyed Kashira just because I like the throwback to Azu and the way that I played it. Um, yeah. But it also has to be good. Like if your deck's shit, I'm going to normally stop playing it after like two weeks. Just want to get bored. Okay. Don't really have an answer because I never I an really an pick a deck. The answer for Kurt is losing. Yeah. If yeah. you lose like more than a week and a half with a certain deck, you'll swap to something else. Yeah. Like it's generally not a hard swap. It's not like, oh, I'm going to start playing at Emancipators. It's like just one of the three decks in whatever triangle you have at the moment. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes. That's your answer. Um, yeah, if I'm losing, yes. But it's, it's still that. Yes. And I don't know when I'm going to be happy. That's the annoying. When you get to play Terrellmans. Exactly. Then the... you're going to lose a Terrellmans. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the cycle of Kurt. It's I get to play Terrellmans. I, I lose oh, with Terrellmans. I, have... I switch decks. I don't like that deck. I switch deck. I don't like that deck. I go to Terrellmans. <laughs> It's the circle of Kurt. <laughs> we need to work out whether, like, he has this same sort of luck in rock, paper, scissors. Because, like, so if we... Ready? Right? Let's go. Scissors, paper, rock. Oh, oh, scissors, paper, rock. Good work. Okay. Man used his brain. He didn't mm. throw a rock. <laughs> Maybe that will be the break of your streak. Maybe you'll win next time. I can't believe I lost I'm fucking scissors, I'm paper, rock. I'm, I'm just throwing you a rock. <laughs> <laughs> What's 686? Next question. <laughs> Next question and last question from 686. How often in the TCG do you go back and play older decks and for what reason? So I'm weighing up at the moment whether or not for like the next three weeks I want to just go back and play something old. Now would be the time because there's nothing on the horizon. Yeah, mm. Simply because I'm going to get that new Rescue Ace support in three weeks and I know I'm going to play Rescue yes. Ace for another three the months. Rescue Ace support. So I'm very much in a situation now where I'm like, do I go back and play something old and fun? Like I'm like half considering just playing Spiral and just fucking seeing what it does and just trying to have a bit of fun. Um, oh yes, Spiral and Fun, two words that often go together. <laughs> like, what the fuck are they going to build on you now that's overly oppressive? Oh no, my opponent has a sleeper pop. That's it? Okay. I removed anything off the board and the sleeper nuked their own board? Okay. Like, Spiral is very easy to beat when they don't have the negation that protects their board from getting wiped. <laughs> and that's my answer. Um... Mine will often be, yeah, if there's like a gap in the season or I'm just a bit bored of a deck, I'll swap over to something for like a couple of weeks. 
Jen and ends up being more than a couple of weeks to be honest because then I can't be bothered buying new sleeves to then sleeve up something else so then I play for an extended amount of time as you have done you said you were going to play Unchained for a little bit huh you said you were going to play Unchained for a little bit yeah because again you didn't think I, it was I didn't good. think it was going to be meta <laughs> and now that it's meta it's like constant oh I have a good deck well yeah. it's like particularly because we had the um, OTS champs on yeah. I didn't see a point of being like, oh, I'll just play a fun deck and then I'll like play Unchained for the thing. Like, I was not at a point where I was confident enough for the deck, I still wasn't on the day, to be honest, yeah. that I was like, oh yeah, I can get games with this, I can win with this. So I needed to practice. And now there's nothing really to practice for, I'll just play something else. I do... I some regionals announced, man. Yeah. We need more regionals. We do. Where are the regionals, Jerome? Even though you don't have a CI area. Yeah, we need to find it. Wait, no, we know who's in it, charge of It's area, Kevin, right? but I'm yeah. not going to call that Kevin. Kevin does an all right job. For like, the, like for the Kevin. hand Kevin's dealt, he does decent. Yeah, and because we're Australia, we are starting on a one card hand. Yes. <laughs> yes. We got eradicated epidemic virus, and we're looking at one monster, and we're doing what we can. <laughs> does our opponent have confiscation? Probably, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, oh, that's the other thing too. I might end up having to play Unchained for another couple of weeks because I also want support from Age of Overlord to play a whole heap of decks. Like, it's getting to a point where I'm considering buying a case because I want a lot of stuff in that set. I, I very seriously considered buying a case, like, over the weekend. And then I probably sat down and was like, what do I actively want from this set if I'm just going to get myself out of the old Ben logic of... Oh, you know, it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna fucking pick up all the random shit and I'm gonna have a binder filled with all the random garbage that comes out in the set. And like, who knows, maybe this deck will be good one day. I need to cut that shit out. So, I'm sitting on. I think I genuinely only need like eight cuts. So, I only need like four cards from the, the. Yeah. Like, I literally only need the one monster, three of one spell, one of the other. And then that's a it. Little night. Then. The IP, the new IP yeah, monster. Little Knight. The new Zeus. New Zeus. And that, yeah. You looking for the three Labyrinth? No. Andro? No. No. That's all I think I probably need. So I'm like, I don't, I don't see myself going and buying a case. Like, it would be good to buy the case to then sell the other shit. Yeah. But that's what realistically all I need. Hmm. Anyway, I need to work out if I will or won't buy a case at some point. Because, yeah, I like the idea of, A, getting all the, the, at least most of the stuff that I need to actually play the variants of the decks that I want to play. Yeah. Even though most of them are just fun decks, to be honest. And then selling on the other bits, because there will be quite expensive cards at a relatively low rarity as well. Because, um, I don't know if I'd save the screenshot, but we do have a couple of hints so, on, on that, rarity. there is the slight issue of quarter centuries also have gold text. Yeah. So you can't really tell whether they're quarter century or ultra in the picture. Oh, true. But no, but that's how they work. That's how they've always done. The, well, I say always. There's been one set, but every secret and yeah. ultra. No, is... no, I'm just getting at the fact that like the gold text ones on the picture may be secret as in the set, and they're just displaying them as quarter centuries. Because like we don't physically get the fucking poster to hang up in our shop to be like, oh, look, I've looked in closely. This is an ultra rare. No, no, but that's what I'm saying though. If yeah. they're on like. If they're on the poster, I don't know if they demonstrate anything other than, like, the key card is, like, the quarter century rare. Everything else is the rarity that they own the set. Ah, uh, there was one card on there that I was like, oh, sick, good that that's an ultra, and someone was like, that's a quarter century rare on the picture. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we'll find out soon. We should be getting, like, we a should full be set get two weeks yeah. to sneak peek. Two weeks, sneak peeks in two weeks. Mm, okay. This is Two weeks, dos, weekos. Das is good. Anyway, that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are on a streaming service, feel free to favourite us. If you are watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we will catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.